thank you welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be doing this beautiful <laughs> copper eye copper cut crease and just talking a little bit <laughs> a little bit about 2021 and what's to come and goals and manifestation and yeah so if you guys want to see and you guys are interested then please keep watching if you need some positivity and some encouragement i suggest you watch this video so please keep watching hey guys so the brows are on we've primed the eyes with some concealer we still have glitter from last night but we ignored that happy new year's my love so as y'all can tell by the title this isn't even my intro i've literally already made an intro well i technically did make an intro already like it's in the future but like you get what i'm saying right let's just continue the conversation um i think i want to use these la girl palettes that i got today because i wanted to review them but i want to test their full potential so i think i'm going to use them let me grab them i have the la girl keep it playful and downplay kind of reminds me of more of like a smoky look and then i have the la girl keep it playful and foreplay starting 2021 off correct um so this one is more of like a smoky look in my opinion and this one is more like you know warm oranges and stuff um i kind of want to work with this palette i may go into this one but i'm gonna stick to this one for now so this one is downplay and so let's just get into it let's make this vision come to life let's get rid of the sparkles on my face because um they're unneeded unneeded wow english for this year maybe i don't know so i'm gonna take this wet and wild brush and i'm just gonna go into the shade do they not have names okay so i'm gonna go into the second shade of the palette i'm gonna take it i'm just gonna add that to the crease i'm gonna wing it out kind of want to do a cut crease so i'm gonna wing it out i'm gonna try my best to wing it out You know, I don't know how people sometimes go, like, off camera and, like, okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Like, I forgot all the steps that I did. Like, I need to do it at the same time. Or maybe it's just me and, like, you know, I don't pay attention. I like that shade a lot. It's really subtle and nice. It would make for a good everyday crease shade. And it's blending out really nicely. There's not too much fallout. I mean, there's a little bit in the pan, but it's nothing crazy. So I'm gonna go into the third shade and kind of build that color up, make it a bit deeper. You know the vibes. I kind of want to add a little bit of the brown shade. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking it like on the tip of the brush more. To deepen the crease just a tad. Yeah, I think that was perfect. They added like the perfect amount of dimension and it's really subtle. So it's nothing crazy. I like that. Okay, perfect. So now what I want to do, I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm just going to take some of my e.l.f. camo concealer, literally the girl. Okay, we're going into 2021 with great makeup. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. It's the 105. It's really like... You know what I'm saying. And I'm going to cut the crease. Boom. Crease is cut and I'm liking it. So, I think I'm going to go into the foreplay palette and i kind of i kind of hmm this look is about to take a whole different direction than what i originally planned we love that for us so oh no this has this color i think i'm gonna take this shade right here and i'm gonna put that on the lid but i'm not going all the way up if that makes sense i want to leave some space at the top of course i'm dragging it out to the end i 
yeah like that so i'm leaving some spaces if i cut it out afterwards but i didn't it's because lazy. boom It's so funny, like, when I'm doing my makeup in my videos, like, I'm literally, as I'm going, and how the video's going, I'm literally coming up with, like, a title in my head. I'm like, oh, maybe this would sound good. So I'm gonna just take this e.l.f. brush. It's, like, an, a flat brush, and I'm gonna wet it a bit with some water. That squirt is terrible! But okay. So I am going to take... I'm gonna take this middle shade. I wanted to go in with the silver originally, but this look took a whole different path, okay? But I'm not mad about it. So I'm gonna take this middle shade and I'm gonna take it on the tip of my brush, the wet brush, like this. And I'm gonna gently add that into the crease. Ever so lightly, slightly, nicely, you know, I think I need a flatter brush because this is too thick for my liking. I'm gonna try this brush from Kylie. It's more rounded at the tip, but I think it'll help give me more of a precise application into the crease. All right, so I've got the color on. I'm gonna do the other eye. So I kind of wet the brush and just go along. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. So now I'm just gonna fix the lid. Make sure that it's, you know, to my liking. Look at that! You glisten, sweetie. You glisten when you follow Nikki's tutorial. Not Nikki. Well, you do glisten because she's a glow queen. But like when Nikki Harrison's tutorials, you glisten, you know? Yeah. So what I want to do, I don't know. It's fun. I kind of want to do like a wing, but more of with like my concealer. I did that yesterday and I don't know, I really liked it. So I'm going to do it again. So I like to take my concealer and I like to take this e.l.f. eyebrow brush and it just helps me with it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now we're gonna move on to face. So I'm going to use my Glossier Bubble Wrap right under the eyes to make us look more alive. Cause sweetie, I'm tired. All right, I'm gonna use my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. Blend upwards. I'm gonna take my Sabilla um, foundation primer, just a little bit. Uh, I don't Boom. Now I'm gonna take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in shade 42N Tan Neutral. Now I'm gonna take my Elf. Uh, complexion duo brush. I'm gonna buff that in. 
I really can't believe it's a new year. Like, thank God. I just hope it's, like, a much better year for everyone. Um, but we'll see. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my hand for my forehead because she's, you know, a five head. Let me stop. Yeah, I wrote down some 2021 goals for myself. So, you know, I think that's a good way to kind of prepare yourself mentally for like a new year and, you know, just new life and, you know, figuring out what you want to do. You may feel lost and then, you know, it's like, okay, so write down like, all right, what do you think you want to do with yourself, you know, with your life, you know? what goals you have in the moment and I think it's good to write those down and kind of manifest them I was watching this video um I'll put a screenshot of her and her channel here um I don't know how I came across this video which is so funny to me because I think that those are like the best things um when like you come across things and like they're unintentional and they wind up like really helping you I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Chestnut and I'm just gonna contour Anyway, she was basically talking about, like, manifestation, like, and how to, like, manifest things, basically, into the new year that you want. And one of her advice, one of, Jesus, like, can I speak? Um, one of the things that she did say, or from my understanding, was basically writing down your goals, kind of manifesting them, and kind of praying about them, or just talking about it out loud and sleeping with it near your pillow so what i did i took this journal uh, i wrote down some 2021 goals that i'd like to achieve in 2021 but i kind of realized quickly after that you know maybe they might not be so achievable some some of them may be you know out of this world i mean nothing's too out of this world especially when it comes to god you feel me and if you believe in god you know i don't think anything is too out of this world like he can bless you in any way, shape, or form. Um, so I wrote down my goals, and I quickly realized that one of them, I was like, oh, or like two or three of them, I was like, I don't know if I'd be able to get done by this year, but I think the beauty of it, I kind of looked at it, and I was like, okay, so I wrote these down, so I know I'll be working towards these goals. Now, um, I may not be able to do them this year, but at least, let's say, I'll be working towards them. So maybe for the next year or the year after, like, it's easier for me to continue to grow into those goals and to achieve them because I started, you know, manifesting them and planning them and preparing myself for them a year or two prior, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't think that's a negative way of thinking it. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, being realistic about it. But um, I, my best friend and I, we started setting monthly goals like towards the end of 2020, you know, we would set monthly goals for ourselves and it was quite pleasant, you know, achieving those goals. And when you didn't, you know, it kind of rolls over into the next month and like that's more than fine because you were already like working towards that goal. So it's easily, it's more attainable than it was prior to you even thinking about that goal, if that makes sense. So I'm kind of excited to, to see where these yearly goals take me now of course i'm still gonna have my monthly goals but i think my monthly goals are gonna be more fixed towards the yearly goals so for example like even if i had like um like a certain subscriber count i wanted to hit by the end of the year so then i'll probably set myself a certain goal for each month so that um it's gonna be easier for me to hit that yearly goal or if i could hit it faster you get what i'm saying so um and they've been helping me out like throughout these last few months of, you know, 2020. So I think rolling that over into this new year and setting yearly goals will be a cool experience and a different experience for me. Cause like I said, I've never done it, but especially having, you know, people around you who do that, for example, like me and my best friend would literally write them down. We'd share them and that's that. Um, or sometimes we wouldn't share them, but having people around you with like those same goals is really cool but even if you don't like you're doing it for yourself you know what i mean and if y'all are watching this and y'all don't have anybody you know 
um, that you're doing this with. I mean, I'm doing it and I'm doing it with you. You know what I mean? Set yourself some goals, you know, and just find yourself achieving that as the year goes on, as the month goes on. Set your January goals, you feel me, at the beginning of the month. I do it at the beginning of every month or like at the end before the next month so that I kind of know what I, my main focus is going to be and re what I really want to do. Um, and I don't think it adds pressure. I think it has sometimes, but I think I kind of learned to not take it as that. Like, okay, it didn't happen, but this goal can just roll over into the next month and then I add, you know, new goals you, too if I want to. And if I want to continue the same goals that I wanted to for last month, like, that's fine. Like, at least you have goals that you're working towards rather than none, you know? So, um really want to go into this year you know with just the power of manifestation and positivity and just really setting myself up for success not failure you know not having a negative mindset and just you know believing in myself believing in others as I always do but you know believing in myself and just you know setting goals that are attainable but also some goals that i probably like I said I have some doubts about some of them but not in a negative way it's just I think it would take me a little bit longer but you know I wrote those goals down so I know that I'm working towards them already so I don't think that's a bad thing um but yeah you know really just trying to come into the new year with a new mindset and taking things that I've learned from the prior year and just applying it to this year because I really want to be successful and you know I don't know I have school that I'm starting again so that's really exciting because this is one step closer like into my career and I you know it's just it's just crazy so yeah but it could be the smallest of, of goals, the biggest of goals, but you can definitely do it. Just put your mind to it. And I really think that, you know, um, I just really wish I remembered her name. But like I said, I really will try to put it on the screen or in the description. Like, you know, and I, it was more of a relationship video, like manifesting, I think, relationships. But I kind of took it as manifesting just everything in general. Of course, relationships is one of the things that were a part of my goals. But it was more manifesting like everything around me. Um, and goals that I want to achieve and, you know, but, um, I don't know. It just kind of helps me feel more like, you know, focused and just like better about things. Cause I don't feel so lost. Um, I feel like I have a goal and I'm like, okay, like this is what I want to do this year, you know? So yeah, I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to add to the list because I didn't add like little like i didn't add too much detail of things you know what i'm saying i don't know anyways let me tell y'all about my goals i don't know what i want to do for my lips oh i don't feel like getting up all right taking my favorite lip liner Oh, it's running down. And now I look crazy. Yes, I've been using concealer <laughs> for my ombre lips. And I don't regret it. I mean, right now it's looking a little crazy, but. I kind of want to add this lip gloss I have on top to kind of make it not so crazy. Perfect. Oh my god. I added the I Love Sada EX ColourPop Lipstick and Curvy and I think it just did what I needed it to do. I would add lashes, but should I? I'm gonna add some more mascara. This is the point where I'm just tweaking things just because. I'm gonna spray my face with cucumber water. Okay guys, and that is it. 
this is my new year new me makeup tutorial but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to set your goals i think they will really help you be successful in general but in this new year you know if you want to make a change i mean I, I think setting goals is the way I, I was doing it you know all 2020 and um it really helped me and so now i want to apply that to my year instead of just months even though i'm doing monthly goals i'm doing yearly goals and i hope this video was a bit encouraging um i just wanted to spread a little bit of positivity and you know just encouragement into this new year so hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel happy new year stay safe be blessed and i will see you guys in the next one bye